everyone, my name's Frankie and I'm from Challenges. I hope you're all having a lovely weekend. I thought we could do some activities together today. And the activity I've got in mind is making some sensory bags. Now these are so much fun to make and they're so much fun to play with. Um, all you need for it really is a sandwich bag. It can come in any size, it really doesn't matter. Now the theme I'm going with today is underwater. So for that, I've got some hair gel. It's a nice bluey one, so it will look like the sea a bit. I've got some nice silver glitter there to make it really sparkly. I've got some foam fishes that I've cut out myself in all different sorts of colors. And I've got some craft flowers, which just I think will make it look a bit pretty. But you don't need that, you can do anything you want, you can put whatever you want in it. In this one I did use hair gel as well, but I did some purple food colouring, I did some glitter and I did some gold and silver stars so it would be more of a space theme. This one I used a slightly smaller uh, sandwich bag, I put some yellow tissue paper in there, some blue pom-poms and some googly eyes because that's a minion theme. Sam uh, because that's a minion themed sensory bag and it's really fun, it makes a nice noise. So really, if you don't have any of this stuff today, it doesn't matter, you can put whatever you want in there. You can put paint in it, you can put hair gel, conditioner, food colouring and oil, absolutely anything you want. And I would love to see what they look like when you're done. Right, so let's get started. Got our sandwich bag, just unzip that. And we're going to pour our hair gel in there. Oh, oh! Make sure you don't spill it everywhere like I've done. I'm gonna do two jars just because I've got quite a big sandwich bag here. But like I said, anything you have is great. There we go, it's all in. And this hair gel smells really nice. That's lovely. There you go, hair gel's in. Now we're gonna do a little bit of the silver Glitter, just to make it all sparkly. Glitter always makes stuff better, doesn't it? So sprinkle a little, ooh, a lot of that in there. That doesn't matter. And then we're gonna take a few of our fishes. I've got some hearts in there as well. Makes it look nice, doesn't it? So sprinkle them in, however many you want. I'm gonna put loads in, because I want it to be a really, really busy sea. There we go. And like I said, some flowers. Because they're nice, aren't they? Get a few more of them. Make it look really pretty. There you go. Now that's all in there. It looks a bit of a mess at the moment, but I promise you it will look fantastic. So get the air out of there. Zip it back up. And now what I like to do at this point is reinforce the zip with a bit of sellotape. Because the zip isn't all that strong. If you squeeze a bit hard, it creates a big mess. So I just take a bit of sellotape and run it over the top there and fold it over just so we have no unnecessary spillages. I'm gonna do it one more time. So I do make a bit of a mess. There you go, just fold that over the top and you can't even see it, so it's just as good. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna squidge it all around. This is where if you don't use the tape, it goes everywhere. So we squidge it all around, give it a bit of a shuffle, make sure everything gets mixed up in there. So this is the end result of the underwater themed sensory bag with all the fishes in it there. I hope you had fun making yours and I would love to see all the lovely ones that you've made. So thank you for joining me. I'll see you later. Bye.